Good evening. Thanks, um, the Art Bar Cafe for doing this again. It's fantastic. You guys look like a good crowd. A sophisticated crowd. I'm the comic for you. A sophisticated crowd. You might not be able to tell this by looking at me, but I spent a few years in the Army. Yeah. It wasn't one of those, you know, the judge is going to send me away situations. I volunteered. It was a legit, legit situation. So being in the Army, I probably literally showered with hundreds of other men. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, I just wanted to say, it's, it's true what they say about black guys. They put cocoa butter on their skin after they wash. Yeah, it's true. But seriously, I was talking about penis size. And I talk, I think a lot about penis size as a guy. This is important to me. I have a penis. There are other people who have penises. And it's human nature to compare and contrast. So I think a lot about penis size because society tells us that's important. Now, the biggest cock, I'm gonna to switch to cock now. That's what I do. I open it soft with penis. Now I'm gonna transition. The biggest cock I've ever seen was on a white guy. I'm not exaggerating. Literally, it hung down to his knee. He had to coil it up like a garden hose to fit it into his army briefs. These are these tight, brown, uncomfortable briefs, and he had to, so we didn't have boxers, he had to coil it up to get it in there. It was like a big, veiny, albino garden hose. It's gross. Really gross. It was so big, his cock veins had veins. It's true. I saw them. I also knew a guy who had a micro penis. Right? You get a range, a sample size, averages. This guy had a micro penis. It was like a little mushroom in a nest of wool. I like to shower. I like to, I like to shower next to that guy because everything is relative by comparison. And I was just, you know, I'd sit there and shower next to him. Like, hey. How's it going? This cold water isn't bothering me any, right? He had no shaft. Next to him, I felt like the garden hose guy. The guy with the, the, the cock that hung down, hung down to his knee. There was a recent study, actually, I was reading, of cock sizes across the world. Can you believe somebody studied that? Does anybody guess which country on average has the smallest cocks? Anyone want to venture a guess? Close, South Korea. 3.8 inches erect. That's the average. So that means there's a whole lot smaller, probably some a little bit bigger. They're tied with North Korea. And I was thinking, maybe that's why these two countries are still at war. Right? They're, they're battling for small cock supremacy. Because if you're going to have the smallest cocks in the world, you might as well own that shit. Be proud of it. Embrace it. Why not? Does anybody know where the biggest cocks in the world are? East Hampton. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 those are the most pretentious cocks in the world. Not the biggest. Better that than nothing. <laughs> no, it's the... It's the Congo, believe it or not. The Congo. 
That word just sounds big. Congo. My Congo is very large. I was wondering who the people are who have to measure these cocks to go around the world measuring cocks. Either, either that's the greatest job in the world or the worst, depending on your perspective, I think. I can think of worse jobs, actually. How about the guy who has to go around and collect samples for the drug-resistant gonorrhea study? What happens when you run out of gloves? Science must be done. Gonorrhea samples need to be collected. I was thinking that for the, for the cock measurer, dinner conversation must be pretty interesting. How was work, honey? That was pretty good. I measured 37 cocks today. It's a good day. Measuring cocks. You should have seen this one cock. It hung down to this guy's knee. He had to coil it up like a garden hose. All right, that's all I have for you tonight, folks. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.